What's cooking in the kitchen, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here with RTS Mobile Gaming, bringing you a dynamite video today. We are playing the Lord of the Rings Rise to War, and in today's video, we're talking about how to prioritize your early game ring skills here in Season 4, especially as roleplay. This specific video applies only to the roleplay tree because the mixed player ring tree is different, okay? So, if you're on the main roleplay theme, which is the primary theme for Season 4, this is the build for you, okay? So the first thing you're going to do with your ring skills is somewhere in the middle of day one, you're going to be ring level 10, which means you can grab one point here and one point here. You won't be able to unlock stamina and control until your ring point 11 and 12. So by the time you hit ring point 11, you have now put one point in stamina. Then you're going to put all the rest of your points into control. This is going to increase your max ability points by 10. It's also going to increase your regeneration rate for the ability points, okay? After that, I like to max out stamina. I like to be able to use uh, enormous stamina pools on my commanders and have them really stack up when they're idle. So that way when I use them, I can get an additional three attacks, two or three attacks out of them, whatever it is, okay? So control is your primary goal. You hit this first. Then we're going to drop down and hit stamina. Once that's maxed out, you're going to put one or two points into dominance, okay? You'll have a few point slots open for dominance. Um, I'm actually going to put my next point in dominance when I level up to 44. So you're going to keep putting points into dominance, which will increase your territory limit, which will increase your resources per hour and your power per hour, exponentially increasing your growth rate, okay? From there, now this is the debate. A lot of people like to go down into the abundant power tree early on, okay? Do not do that. Do not get caught into the trap of dropping down into the abundant power tree in order to gain 15% increased experience from your mock battling and reduce stamina on your mock battling, okay? This is actually not the best route if you're playing role play. And I say that because you're not going to want to be mock battling and using your resources to mock battle for at least the first five or six days, okay? You are not going to do that. If you do that, you're going to set yourself way back. What you should be doing is sweeping nonstop with two or three commanders all day long, okay? You're going to gain enormous resources from that. You're going to gain speed ups from that. And that's why we drop down into the abundant dexterity and focused sweeping tree, okay? So we're going to hit a point here. We're going to hit a point here. We're going to drop down to powerful sweeping. Then we're going to put 10 points into effortless sweeping. This is going to drop the, the stamina cost of my sweeping from 20 down to 10. Once I have 10 stamina per sweep, I'm going to move over and start putting points into the experienced sweeping. So what we're doing here is we're going to increase our overall experience gained by 20%. We're going to uh, reduce the cost of sweeping by 50%, okay? In doing so, we are going to generate an enormous amount higher efficiency for our sweepers, which is going to be much more experience and much more resources, okay? So, once you get to the point where you're capturing, you know, 200 and 230 power tiles, it's time to start thinking about the reset button, okay? This will be somewhere around day five, six, seven, somewhere towards the end of the first week. You'll probably have your first 200 power tile. You're going to get ready to hit the reset button. Once per day, you can hit the reset button and it will gain your points back. Some of the points in the dominance tree here, uh, dominance, fortress, control, stamina, battle lines, that's over in the top right-hand corner where we started. Some of these points will not be refunded. So you will still keep your 10 points in control. You'll still keep your 10 points in stamina. Okay, But what you will be able to do is drop down uh, and uh, you keep your points in, in dominance. What you will be able to do is refund all of the points you've put into the sweeping tree and drop on down and grab the experience, the yield, and the efficiency trees over here for mock battling, okay? But there's no sense in putting any points in the mock battling and experience tree until you have enough resource stability to mock battle full time with one commander, okay? If you're not mock battling full time with one commander, it's actually going to be more efficient for you overall to keep on sweeping, which is what I'm doing right now. You can see that I'm literally doing a couple sweeps with Witch King while I wait for more alchemists and sappers to train. Okay, I don't have enough to really take a 200 power tile without taking heavy losses. So I'm waiting until I generate more. And in the meantime, I'm sweeping with Witch King. 
I'm sweeping with Kieran. Kieran is sweeping nonstop, okay? I've got Gothmog sweeping nonstop. So get down to the point where, I mean, look, I'm getting 7,500 resources a sweep. If I've done 10 sweeps, that's 75,000 food, okay? That's uh, 35 minutes of speed ups, all right? That's Warbane experience. And that's going to be, right, 9,400 experience per sweep. And that's going to only go up, right? So the base experience per sweep here is like 9,000. Every time I put points in that increased experience, it's going to keep going up. So that is the video, folks. That is the early game ring strategy for role play. Do not get caught into the trap of dropping down into the abundant power and the mock battling trees until you're ready to support full-time mock battling. You're going to gain more effectiveness from half-cost sweeping and uh, bonus sweeping experience than you are going to gain from uh, 5% increased experience overall from this tree. And then the mock battling points, of course, will be wasted until you're ready to mock battle. All right, that's the video. I love you all a long time. Hopefully this helped you out. Randy out.